always alerting, always tracking. This is Next wow. Weather. That was incredible footage there, and thankfully no one was hurt because that was a powerful and destructive tornado. Here in South Florida, not expecting anything like that. However, there will be another round of rain. Yesterday, we actually did have some flooding and some severe thunderstorm warnings. I think today we're going to get showers and storms. A few could turn strong and produce some heavy rain, which will actually take we need it. Uh, now for tomorrow, the pattern is going to shift and push storms west, and then we get dry with the return of the 80s for the weekend. Yeah, we're getting excited about the fact that our highs will be in the 80s instead of the 90s, but we're already waking up to the 80s this morning, kicking off your Thursday with 80 degrees in Miami and Fort Lauderdale and Key West. And then it feels like 84, 85 degrees, super steamy out there. 78 in Pompano Beach, 76 in Homestead and 88 already marathon. Wind is calm and we are dry for now. If you're headed to the beach, there is a low risk of rip currents and the UV index is extreme. Out on the water, if you're boating over the Atlantic waters, no alerts, winds to northeast, five to 10 knots and no alerts for the Florida Keys, a light shop near shore. With that frontal boundary just to the north, that's gonna keep us a bit unsettled today. So we'll begin with the heat, the humidity, which will give way to those afternoon showers and storms. And as we head into tomorrow, the wind, though, will be now increasing out of the east, which will then help to steer most of the action towards the interior, the Everglades, and then head off to the Gulf Coast, the west. As we head into the weekend, it is actually looking good considering it's the start of June and it has been so hot lately. It will not be as warm, not as humid. Some drier arrives, low level moisture could produce some quick moving isolated showers. That's about it for today, though. Keep the umbrella handy as we head into 11 a.m. noon into the afternoon. We see a lot of action here, especially over the inland areas, but even the metro areas will likely see showers and storms that could get heavy at times, even for the evening rush tomorrow morning quiet and notice that we do have a few storms that pop up, especially over the western suburbs, but then they will gradually make their way towards the interior and the west. And as we head into the weekend, look at these numbers, at least we'll be seeing highs in the upper 80s and it'll be windy on Saturday, which is the start of the hurricane season, by the way, breezy as we head into Sunday with the low rain chances and we continue with the upper 80s and spotty storms heading into next week. Hey, it's tonight the big night as we have a hurricane 2024. What's next special air? The entire Next Weather team will get you ready for the hurricane season. That will be live at 7 p.m.